I grew up in Ellensburg. The whole family, we had a choice of either staying locally and going to Central or going to WSU. There was one rogue um, cousin who did go to the University of Washington. And uh, but the rest of the rest of us uh, all went to uh, WSU. <laughs> Sue's father played football uh, on the first Rose Bowl team for WSU all conference. He was an identical twin, and he was the better football player of the two. But by the fourth quarter, as he tired, they would sneak off and exchange jerseys, and then his twin brother would come in and and play center and was mm -hmm. fresh and aggressive. <laughs> Something that you couldn't get away with with the NCAA today in any way. When I graduated in the 60s, there were just a few jobs available for women, education being one of the primary fields. I taught for uh, almost 10 years in uh, every place that we lived when he was involved with his training. After finishing residency training, we spent three months in Switzerland uh, studying orthopedic surgery, and then another full year in England. The only time you can really do something like that is before starting your practice. And in between both locations, we traveled with two small children in a van for two and a half months camping without staying in a hotel because we had disposable diapers and we had a, a adventurous spirit and we were partially crazy we visited uh, all of Western Europe. Any marriage that survives that has got to be solid. Right. My mother uh, and her identical twin sister were teachers in our uh, hometown, and they taught uh, about 30 years each. On their death, my brother and I decided to put some of the inheritance into a fund to recognize teachers in that community. We were astounded at how much the teachers appreciated it. And, and it was just some recognition, which teachers don't have enough for the great service they do. And we decided that uh, we wanted to do it here in this community because of the help we've had with our three children. Unbeknownst to Mike, I made arrangements, and this was a gift to him on our 45th wedding anniversary. And it would be an annual award to all, uh, each teacher, uh, a high school teacher, a junior high teacher, and a elementary school teacher. And they can take this stipend that's given from the award and use it toward their classroom or for further education. And Susie immediately came up, it has to be the Golden Onion Award. Susie often quotes that of all the work she's ever done, teaching was the most intense and difficult. It's the hardest. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and the least appreciated. Mm -hmm. We also sponsored a girl from Slovakia uh, here. We met them when we traveled in Eastern Europe in 1990, stayed in correspondence, and then we invited her to come here to attend college. So she attended two years at the community college and then two years at University of Washington. So we actually had to pay tuition to the University of Washington, which was difficult, but we did it mm -hmm. for the sake of good education.